In our first video, we established that people care. In our second video, we started to explore how core understanding of the science has been compromised by a deep and extensive rigging of climate science. It's clear. Contrary to what the government is telling us, there's no scientific consensus attributing global warming to carbon dioxide. There's no scientific consensus for the government's claim. The basis for government climate policy is political reports driven by a political agenda that reverses and deliberately manipulates science. Misrepresentations of science are promoted by people benefiting financially from spreading climate fear. In this video, we'll continue to explore the core issue by understanding basic facts on carbon dioxide. These facts are widely agreed on by those spreading global warming fear and by skeptics. Carbon dioxide is nature's colourless, odourless, tasteless gas. Essential for all life on Earth, including us. Trees need carbon dioxide to live. We need trees and crops. You're exhaling carbon dioxide now. It's not poisonous. Calling it pollution is a lie. A lie is knowingly or recklessly stating something that is not true, creating a false or inaccurate impression. Carbon dioxide is less than 0.04% of Earth's air. Less than four one hundredths of 1%. It's called a trace gas because there's bugger all of it. Calling it pollution is a lie. Of Earth's annual production of carbon dioxide, human activity, all industry, transport, mining, agriculture, produces just 3%. Nature, 32 times more, 97%. Calling it pollution is a lie. Of that 3% from humans, Aussies produce just one hundredth. One percent of the 3%. That's 3%, that's sorry, that's 0.03% of Earth's annual carbon dioxide production. Saying Aussie carbon dioxide affects global climate is a lie. The variation alone in nature's production of carbon dioxide is estimated to be four times the entire human production. Our carbon dioxide is not affecting nature's balance. It cannot. Calling it pollution is a lie. When nature's 97% is known to be essential for all life on Earth. How can 3% be catastrophic? It cannot. It is not. That's insane. Crooked. Calling it pollution is a lie. Carbon dioxide stays in the air only five to seven years, often just months. Nature rapidly cycles it back into plants, animals and oceans. Calling it pollution is a lie. 71% of Earth's surface is ocean. Ours is a blue planet. Oceans contain, in dissolved form, 50 times the carbon dioxide in Earth's entire atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is released from and absorbed into the oceans according to temperature. Calling it pollution is a lie. Annually, nature overwhelmingly produces most of Earth's carbon dioxide and nature alone determines the amount in air. Saying human carbon dioxide determines carbon dioxide levels is a lie. Measurements of global carbon dioxide levels used by the UN reveal that carbon dioxide levels are a result of temperature, not a cause. Carbon dioxide does not drive temperature. Temperature determines global carbon dioxide levels. Yet the UN, the government, the Greens, tell us the opposite. Reversing nature, reversing science. Saying carbon dioxide drives temperature and climate is the biggest lie. Each molecule of carbon dioxide combines an atom of carbon with two atoms of oxygen. Referring to nature's invisible gas as carbon pollution, a black solid, is a blatant lie. Are you aware the UN deliberately omitted 90,000 reliable measurements of carbon dioxide levels taken in the last 180 years? These reveal natural fluctuations up to 40% above current levels. The UN avoiding the evidence. Alarmists claim water vapour feedbacks enhance warming. 
Yet water vapour often helps Earth's surface shed heat to space. Measurements in the real world reveal nature's feedbacks tend to modulate and counter or reverse initial impacts. Water is the only material on Earth that can be a solid, liquid and gas at the same time. If there wasn't so much of it, perhaps many more people would study it. The ignorance of water vapour in understanding climate is a huge hole. Clouds, snow, rain, latent heat, ice. Do you know that the only reliable measures of global atmospheric temperature are by weather balloons and satellites? These reveal no net warming, just inherent variation in nature's cooling, warming, cooling cycles. Climate gate, tampering with data, withholding data, hiding the evidence. Ask yourself why as you check data for yourself at our website. Given the money, the billions in research grants, the academic careers, reputations and egos being fabricated and manipulated for personal gain. This is fraud. There is no evidence humans cause the entirely natural cooling, warming, cooling cycles. The core, the UN's climate body, the core is rotten. It's rotten to the core. Globally, carbon dioxide levels in air are a result of temperature, not a cause. Carbon dioxide is not polluting our atmosphere or climate. It is nature's trace gas essential for all life on Earth. Water vapour is not a magnifier of warming. It is a modulator of temperature variation. There is no warming, just nature's natural variation driven by El Nino cycles and the sun. Why are the Prime Minister and the Minister for Climate Change lying about carbon dioxide and carbon? As a mining engineer, Greg Combe's educational qualifications indicate he should know better. In our next episode, we'll explore the consequences of taxing, trading and rationing carbon dioxide. I'm Malcolm Roberts on behalf of the Galileo Movement. Protecting your money, protecting your freedom.